Another state has abolished the death penalty, and we've learned cop killer Michael Astorga will use this development to try to escape the execution chamber here. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Diane, the governor of Illinois signed the ban today. We've also commuted the sentences of 15 members of death row who were convicted and sentenced to death. I believe if we abolish the death penalty in Illinois, we should abolish it for everyone. Michael Astoria's lawyer, Gary Mitchell, says that's further proof that when a state declares the death penalty wrong, it's declaring that it's wrong to execute anyone. If Astorga is sentenced to death in September, Mitchell plans to use that argument again in an automatic appeal with the state Supreme Court. Mitchell has already argued to the high court when New Mexico banned the death penalty in 2009 that people wanted the ban to apply to everyone, past, present, and future. Astorga murdered Deputy James McGrain during a traffic stop in 2006 and was convicted last year. The Supreme Court denied Astorga's motion after prosecutors argued that lawmakers are the voice of the people. Now, two bills have been introduced this session to reinstate capital punishment. They both have been tabled and are essentially dead. Diane? All right, thanks, Alex. Sixteen states have now repealed the death penalty without exception. Astorga's attorney has also argued the way that New Mexico's ban was written singled out Astorga, so he would be eligible for the death penalty. Prosecutors argued that as cold cases that happened before the ban are solved, those murderers could also face the death penalty, and that would include the West Mesa serial killer.